While most content creators like to start with something easy, such as OSINT, I want to be a good bit more interesting. Today, we're entering an arena that separates script kitties from operators. Gaining that initial foothold is the turning point in any pen test. Once you're in, the network unfolds before you. Defenses shift, and suddenly, you're in control. But always remember, this is for a controlled environments. You know the rules. Let's start with a classic. Fishing. Simple, but lethal in the right hands. Craft a convincing email, embed a payload in an attachment, or drop a link that looks legit, but hides your custom exploit. Tools like the Social Engineer's Toolkit allow you to weaponize attachments or reverse shells, while Evil Engine X2 sets up convincing landing pages and can even bypass two-factor authentication. People fall for this all the time. Get their credentials, steal their remote access, and you're in their system before they can blink. Service vulnerabilities are another treasure trove. Machines run outdated services all the time. SMB, FTP, SNMP, you name it. There's always something weak. A quick scan with Nmap or other tools will reveal exactly where the cracks are. From there, it's precision time. Tools like Metasploit make it easy, but don't get comfortable. This isn't about pushing buttons, it's about thinking ahead. Target the vulnerable service, find a misconfiguration, execute your payload, and just like that, you're in control. Silent, efficient, and if you're good enough, no one will notice. Unless, of course, you stumble into the humble honeypot. Web applications. Now, those are everywhere. The internet is made up of web applications, and more often than not, they're wide open. SQL injection, cross-site scripting, file upload vulnerabilities. If you know where to look, the web is littered with entry points. Outdated plugins, weak code, it's all fair game. Slip in, send your commands, and make the app work for you. Maybe you pull creds. Maybe you trigger a reverse shell. Either way, you're just scratching the surface on this video. Once inside, the infrastructure is yours to navigate. Now, if services like RDP, SSH, or admin logons are exposed, it's time to get persistent. Password spraying and brute forcing are age-old tactics that still get results. It doesn't take much sophistication, just time and a little patience. Tools like Hydra, Burp Suite, or Medusa can automate the process. With some usernames pulled from Hunter.io or Dehash, as well as some common passwords, you're only minutes away from breaking into their systems. Persistence wins, and once you've got a valid account, the door is open. And of course, social engineering is your best friend. Humans are always the weakest link. Pose as tech support, offer to help, and you'd be shocked at what people will hand over. Or send them software that seems legit, something that makes their life easier. They'll install it themselves, thinking it's helpful, and just like that, they've installed you. Understand human behavior, and the world is your playground. Now, this next method isn't common in pen tests, but it's important to know. Third-party software and supply chain attacks are on the rise. You don't always need to go directly at your target. Sometimes, hitting the software they rely on is just enough. Inject malicious code into software updates or a plugin that they use, and the next time they update, you have a foothold. They trust the source, so they don't check what's inside. Meanwhile, you're already in. Misconfigurations are another gift waiting to be exploited. You don't need a sophisticated exploit if you can capitalize on an administrator's laziness. Default credentials, exposed cloud buckets, misconfigured services, it's all there for the taking. This is the equivalent of walking in the front door simply because someone forgot to lock it. No noise, no alerts, just you on the inside, if you're good enough. On to the next. Client-side exploits are perfect for delivering a payload straight to the user. Outdated browsers, media players, plugins, they're all weak links. A drive-by download from a compromised website or an infected ad can take over a user's machine without them even realizing it. By the time they do, you've already established your presence and moved throughout the network. 
rogue access points and man in the middle attacks are for those who like the physical game. Set up a fake Wi-Fi access point near the target and simply wait. Once they connect, it's game on. Intercept traffic with Wireshark, steal credentials, or inject malicious payloads. Man in the middle attacks are perfect for harvesting data. Position yourself between the victim and their destination, and the data flows right into your hands. Now there's the old school USB drum. Get physically close to the target, drop or hand them a USB loaded with your payload, and watch the magic happen. Low tech, but effective. It only takes one curious employee plugging it in for you to take over the machine. Ensure you perform effective reconnaissance to determine defenses such as antivirus, and your payload will reign supreme. Finally, there's the holy grail. Zero days. These are the vulnerabilities no one knows about, not even the vendor. They're unpatched, and there's no defense against them. If you have a zero day, you slip in undetected, bypass all the security measures, and establish your foothold before anyone knows what's happening. Finding a zero day is like finding the keys to any kingdom. It changes everything. At the end of the day, gaining that initial foothold is about adaptability. Whether you're exploiting vulnerabilities, manipulating human behavior, or taking advantage of lazy configurations, there's always a way in. Once you've got that foothold, the game shifts. It then becomes about strategy. That's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights from the front lines. And remember, use what you learn here wisely. Now take what I've given you and go build your technical skills. Follow me on Instagram or LinkedIn to find the most useful tools, exploits, and tactics for your career as a pen tester. Coming soon, we will be exploring our first walkthrough on this channel something you don't want to miss.